so uh, i'll show you how to correct this model uh, this is the stock model uh, which i have got now what i have found the error is that uh, if you go to interaction here the embedded is used for the beam which is inside the pile and uh, this is okay whatever it is now uh, the correction that i suggest is you have to use embedded for both pile and uh, what is called the beam now what do i mean by pile and beam if i expand this and uh, if i hide the soil now see we have the pile and then we have the beams so the beams are embedded inside the pile using this embedded now we'll create another embedded embed uh, constraint which will embed the pile as well as beam into the soil so for that uh, we'll have to do few corrections that uh, here i'll unlock this model taking little time uh, okay now in soil uh, what I have observed that you have created some cut uh, just to place the piles inside the soil and then you have created the partition so I suggest not to do that uh, just 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 you delayed these cut you don't need that cut uh, the pile inside the soil what instead of cut will use embedded will embed the pile uh, into the soil also. now i'll also delete these partitions i really don't need this partition uh, one thing uh, you need if you need infinite element at the boundaries so what you can do you can simply create two partitions at the boundaries and you can use that embedded uh, infinite element but uh, for the timing i will not use any infinite element uh, just to just to save my time uh, i need to select the this uh, set one because set one have been assigned as section assignment if you check this uh, see set one is assigned as section now when i have deleted all the partitions so it has uh, got deleted now i'll select the whole model of saturn so the uh, this uh, material property automatically will assign to the section okay now if you really want to create uh, infinite element at the side so for that i would suggest you simply create a partition from this face uh, on this side flip this direction okay at a distance of let's say 0 0.1 and same from this face create a plane at a distance of 0 0.1 so two planes have been created now simply use this to create the partition now for creating partition use this option select this now again select you just have to create two partitions why i am creating this partitions because i need 
to assign infinite element at the boundary. So you can simply create these two partitions. And I, I don't need all those cutting and all because I'll eventually embed the file inside the soil. And that is the correct way of assigning it. So if I go to mesh, so here I am not uh, going for this sweep cut and all, sweep mesh because if you want to assign infinite element, you just have to select all both of this and uh, sorry, both both the edges, both the both this face, sweep it, and then redefine sweep path. Make sure all these errors are outside. So for this is okay. So I'll select except highlighted. Let's see. This is this is also outside. So except highlighted. So both are okay. Simply click okay and they proceed with it. But for the time being, in in this model, I'll not go. Uh, I think you know how to create this infinite element. So for the time being, I'll I'll keep it structured. I'll I'll, I'll not go. I'll not do all those things. I hope you know how to assign the uh, all all those boundary conditions. Now see uh, here you just have to play with the mesh site. So instead of 0 0.01, 0 0.01 creating around six lakhs element, so I'll make it 0 0.05. You select some suitable mesh site. Uh, if you want, you can partition it. No issue, but make sure that is no there should not be any cut inside the soil. No need. We don't have to use any cut. The piles can uh, simply embed inside the soil, just like the concrete and steel. Well, the steel, let's say, if there is a concrete beam, and the steel diameter diameter of the bar is uh, 16 mm. So we do not create partitions. So what we do, we simply embed it, uh, just to save our time and make the uh, analysis uh, economical. So for that, I have done that. Now. Uh, that's all you need to do and uh, here in the assembly uh, you just have to come here you'll have to create one constraint over here so make sure while creating constraint you just select the pile and the beam inside it So for that, simply go to constraint embedded region, continue and make sure you select both the uh, beam and the pipe. Both shall have to be there. Done. Now, here you can select the region as well. You can select the region as well, but just to save time, even if you do not select the region as well, it will work. Just select whole model. It will do your job. No need to select the soil. So the constraints have been created. I have hidden the assembly. Sorry, not delete. Just, just show it. So here, I have what I have done. I have deleted all the partitions and all the cuts which we have created for the soil. I have embedded the pile and the pile beam inside the. Uh, so now if you run the analysis it will work so what I'll do I'll again assign boundary conditions because I have deleted all the faces I need to assign boundary condition so BC1 is for bottom so BC1 is contains set 3 so likewise you can you can simply select all the boundary conditions which you have assigned previously so 
so set 3 I need to select set 3 set 3 you can again create boundary condition by deleting the existing boundary condition or you can simply select the sets so if you have if you have this uh, infinite element then you just have to select this then I think set set let's check for BC2 set 4 set 4 is at the sides so set 4 is at the sides just select both the sides and then most probably set 5 and this is for set 5 yes so set 5 again will be my bottom so likewise this is the correction you just have to apply again I am telling you uh, whatever boundary whatever cut you have created for soil or whatever uh, all these partitions you just don't need those partitions except two partitions for infinite element creation I think you know how to create the infinite element and uh, next you just have to embed the uh, pile and pile beam inside the soil that's all just just now run the analysis so you just have to create an additional constraint which I have shown you how to create that. So that is all the correction you need nothing else. So when you run it if you check this is the model I am running it has reached around 7.2 to second I will kill now because I just do not want to waste my time. So it is for uh, 10 seconds so you can simply get the results. Now let us check the results. I have done it previously also. So I'll rotate the beam like this, and that's my. So let us check the scale. The scale is correct. So if I play the animation, so I'll make little faster. So you see the beam is the building is the structure is uh, experiencing some stress due to the earthquake force or the acceleration that have been applied. So it has reached up to 33 seconds. Now what I'll do is just to just for better visualization I'll increase some scale. Let's 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 make oh, 500 is too much. Let's make it 100. So this is how the structure is vibrating. This has also become too much. I just want 50. This is a better visualization. So this is how the acceleration is applied under the structure. If I go for U, U two, U one, let me check. So that's all.